I'm be putting on this Yoshi tail tidy. Get rid of this monstrosity Honda put on here. First things first, gotta take the seat off. Gotta take these two bolts out and these two bolts out. You gotta disconnect the blinkers and the tag light. That's here, one, three. But once those are disconnected, finish taking those four bolts in the bottom out. Once you get your stock assembly off, this white cord right here is the tag light. You're gonna wanna take these two five millimeters off so you can cut that six inches from the connector. Also got these two Phillips head here. This is what it looks like when you get everything off. I'm gonna cut that off here as far away from the connector as possible. It says you need six inches, but I'm just gonna do this to be safe. You're also going to reuse the stock turn signal, so I'm going to go ahead and take those off. So just remember that the blue is your right side and the orange is the left. Feed the wires through that center hole and then mount the tag lock. This is what it looks like once you get it tightened down. You're gonna install using your stock or eight millimeter you took out. Go ahead and poke your wire through. Go ahead and pull your wire through the top like that. Just snug them up, don't go too tight. You're gonna get a bolt, a nut, washer. That's a four millimeter Allen, that's a 10 millimeter. This goes here. That's what your tail light attaches to, and that's gonna also be the frame. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tag holder on here because that's what kind of holds it square. So it goes in like that. Four millimeter Allen. This is the right side. This part goes out. Snug that out by hand. Same thing on the other side. Same thing on the bottom. Go ahead and tie these down with a four millimeter and a 10 millimeter on the back. You're gonna wanna pull these rubber things out. Slide the rubber back in, blue is right. Then you take the one that was in the center that you cut off, strip both of these wires down, plug all three wires back in in the right spot. That's what the end of the old tag light should look like. Then you're gonna use the supplied connectors to cut the positive and negative. Make sure I got the blinkers in the right. So the right works and the left works. So now let's test the tag light. Be brown is positive. And there we go. This is what it should look like when you're done. You start, do one side, one side, make sure your wires are touching together, and then you melt the solder ball in the middle. Slide one side in, make sure the copper is in the solder ball, like that, and slide the negative in. Green and black are negative. So once you make sure both of them are in the solder ball, melt one end, melt the other end. So that shouldn't pull out, and melt the solder ball in the middle. The same way on both sides. That's how it should look when you're done. And plug your white cord back up in the middle, this white connector. Slide this rubber piece back into place. Put this back on this part. So now you're good to go. Just use the zip ties to tidy everything up. And that's what it looks like when you're done.